and this is Katie. So here I am stuck in at least another month of lockdown. Um, so I guess because I can't actually go anywhere at all I've been kind of thinking about holidays and I thought well why not make a video about my ideal Lolita fashion holiday. Obviously if like this is my own Lolita fashion holiday, my ideal actual holiday involves a lot more touristy stuff and sightseeing and things but if someone came up to me and said here you go Katie here is unlimited amounts of money spend it on your perfect Lolita fashion holiday what would I do? So should go without saying I would go to Tokyo because if you're gonna go on a Lolita fashion holiday that's where you go. I would go to all of the brand shops and I would buy a coordinate or two in every shop. A, if a, I would go at a time when a brand was having a tea party, you know, one of those proper official brand tea parties and the brand that was having the tea party, I would go in their shop and I would buy the most OTT coordinate, the full set, and I would wear it to the tea party. I'd spend a little bit of time walking around Harajuku. Sadly, there is no more Gothic Lolita Bible, so I wouldn't be able to get into a Gothic Lolita Bible street snap. But I don't know, at least I'd have been there. I think I'd possibly also get on the train and go to, um, God, I can't remember, you know, the place where Momoko from Kamikaze Girls is from? I'd go there and do a little bit of Lolita sightseeing there. I'd go to. I think it might still be a thing. Um, there's a place somewhere in Tokyo, I think, where you go there and they kind of like give you a Lolita makeover. I think they've got a load of fabulous stars shine bright dresses and they do your makeup, they get your wig and they style it and they get you a coordinate and then you just have a photo shoot. I think that looks really cool, so I'd do that. I'd also go to a lot of Okay, so every meal would be in those cute cafes that I see on the vlogs for every other Lolita who goes to Japan. Um, on the way back, I would stop off in France. I'd go to Paris because that way I could go to Versailles. I'd just... I don't know if they'd let me in wearing Lolita, but I guess I'd have to just wear something like kind of Lolita inspired but I would spend a day just wandering around Versailles because it's like it's kind of, it's like um I don't I haven't been yet but I think it's supposed to be like the kind of place Lolitas go to um yeah I'd go to that shop that does all the really fancy macarons um <laughs> I've never been there I I know they've got one in the in an airport in Paris, they actually have like a tiny version of that shop that does all the fancy macarons, but I didn't get any. Um, yeah, so there we go, there's, I think that is basically what I would do. If I could do anything, I had, like, if I could do anything for a Lolita fashion holiday, definitely that, just go to Tokyo, do loads of Lolita fashion stuff, then stop off on Versailles on the way back. Um, yeah. Oh, then actually on the way back from Versailles, I could go to Bath because they've got all the Jane Austen stuff. I mean, not right now they don't, but sometimes they do. So yeah, can I arrange my imaginary holiday to be like just before the Jane Austen festival in Bath? Because then I could go to that and do a lot of like very OTT classic Lolita stuff. Um, and then I guess I'd have to just go home. Right, so that's it then. Bye!